Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 5 Top Plays. In today's episode, we've got a selection of awesome clips, starting out with this insane clip from Dreadful Gaming. Just check out what he does. <gasps> so if you didn't notice in that first clip, he managed to take out two planes with one looping bomber. Amazing stuff, moving on it's Gary FPS, with a selection of road kills on Twisted Steel. Now as you can tell this is a popular camping spot, the first time he manages to get four in a single flyby, the second he gets three and the third he gets another one. Now he does this probably quite a lot of the time when he sees campers on the bridge and it's quite skillful as a pilot, especially in Battlefield 5, to get them taken down. Now there's quite a few in this little highlight reel and at the end a special clip on Fiel 652. Bogdan Dima is next up with a really lucky triple collapse. The rush shot sent in a couple of clips. I've bundled them together, three in total. The first one is the best clip I've seen on Mercury so far. Check it out. The second is going to be a proper old school Rotterdam sniping streak, alpha objective, a lot of players taken down at different ranges. He uses the car 98k quite well at the start but then gets up close and personal as he flanks the enemy team just above. Final clip is going to be on Devastation of Rotterdam. Again, some satisfying snipes to start things off with the Krag Jorgensen, and then he gets a little bit closer with a couple of really, really accurate snipes in there too. Nice, dude. All there. Moving on, it's Max Eek, and he's going to be pushing towards the enemy team on Devastation of Rotterdam. As you can tell, he's trying to be as sneaky as possible at the start. Doesn't want to get taken down on the beginning of this flank. You know exactly what's going to happen as he gets around the side of these sandbags here. The MP28 doing work, all these enemies taken down. A nice way to start the clip. And then he gets in a little bit closer and takes out the rest of these campaign players. Oh my god, that was working well though, 11 kills. The second clip he sent in is what we're used to, Twisted Steel. He's going to be playing as a scout and taking a lot of players down. The first guy doesn't seem to be bothered, runs off into the distance, probably to build some fortifications or something, and then the throwing knives. You can be absolutely silent with these throwing knives. Players can barely hear you, you can pick them back up off the fallen enemies and take out as many as you want. Absolutely amazing. What, dudes? <laughs> uh... What just happened? Something a little bit different from Better Hunter. This is going to be on Panzerstorm. And in a tank on Panzerstorm, it can be 
quite difficult to push objectives but if you have the right loadout and as you can tell if you look on the right hand side he does have the ap mines gets himself as close as he can to the enemy team and then throws them out a lot of kills a nice little aggressive push and almost certainly helping his team to cap alpha Kasatos is next with a long-range tank snipe on Mercury. Next up, a Battlefield 1 clip. We're going to be seeing some Gewehr 98 action from Thunder on Giant Shadow. Another Battlefield 1 clip from Hazardlet. Check out this for a long range snipe. Gerbot 119 is getting more than he bargained for with a long range Piat shot. Another aggressive sniping clip from Bercy. He's on Rotterdam and he's managed to find himself in this great position, dropped a beacon, and look at this. The enemies are all over the place. And unfortunately for him, he could have had a triple collat there. It looked like a triple collat was on. His time's up though as the enemy team push him and just so accurate in these CQB conditions as a scout player gets himself a couple more kills moving on we've got Tyler Poplin with a slightly longer infantry streak this one is great on Twisted Steel as he flanks the enemy team armor infantry they all get taken down it shows you how effective you can be with a bit of strategy tactics and a nice flanking route really good stuff Ladeus is next up, and this is going to be on a bit of Hamada defending these objectives. It can be tricky with the enemies, even though they're pushing up the hill, as it only takes one enemy to get a flank on you, and your team can be wiped out, as we've seen quite a lot through this episode already. He's on the defending side, though, so it's interesting to see from this position how you can take people out. And it's also nice to see using iron sights as Sometimes it can be difficult, especially with a Gewehr 1.5, to do this sort of stuff without a scope. He's managing to make it work, though. A lot of players are getting taken down with these headshots, too, so very accurate as well.
Profit RKS is once again going to be using the Gewehr 1-5 on Rotterdam. A nice streak this. A lot of players taken down on Bravo Objective. Knight Noble 24 is going to be pushing in for an aggressive push on Devastation of Rotterdam. The smoke barrage is everywhere. He's using it to his advantage. Somehow manages to get through towards the enemy players without getting taken out. And then look at the kills. He manages to rack up a nice streak. Two long range Piat clips from Jesse. The Piat is pretty fun to use. The long range clips are always satisfied to watch, in my opinion. Imagine that guy on the receiving end doesn't know what's about to happen, gets hit in the head from a Piat and sees the kill cam. This guy sitting halfway across the map with a Piat launcher. Punjab Yoshi is going to be playing on Aras. Again, this is the final long range Piat clip in the episode but this one is quite special as he spawns in just check out the range he gets on this piat shot and the amount of kills sinon or sinon is next up and this is a clip on mercury using the sector artillery straight away drops it in he knows where the enemy team's going to be sets on a bit of a flanking maneuver towards alpha gets a load of kills and more importantly helps cap the objective for his team Moving on, we've got a couple of Firestorm clips. The first one from Parizo. This one is an incredible shotgun spree to start things off and then check out what he does next. Their helicopter. Okay, we can probably take Watch the image if I get this. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Next up, we've got a clip from Dead Wurgies, I think that's your name. Not really too sure the way it's been spelt there. But anyway, it's a nice little clip taking down this enemy vehicle. Look at the range he gets with the final Panzerfaust shot. Bumrush 007 once again taking down an enemy chopper. Long range stuff with the Panzerfaust. Not seen this done before, DJ Kyle 1991 getting a win using the Liberator. Never seen that done, pretty rare to see. Luckily the last guy he was shooting was Potato and decided to lie down. The penultimate clip in today's episode is from Neon. Once again, one of the most exciting things you can do in Firestorm is taking down an enemy chopper. Does it at long range, really nice to see. Oh, let's go! Nice shot, Let's man. go! <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Oh. GG's! GG's! Yes! Woo! <laughs> Finishing off today's episode, we have Nasty Man 111. An only in battlefield moment, firing a Panzerfaust out the side of a helicopter and taking out another one. 
Firestorm doesn't do so well on YouTube for whatever reason, so that's why I have to be posting top plays. As you can tell, whenever someone uploads a Firestorm video, it tends to do really badly because of the algorithms. Nonetheless, thanks for sending in your clips. If you have any, send them into battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com, and I'll catch you in the next episode.